Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Andrea Ali. I'm a professional makeup artist based in Paris and in today's video we're going to talk about most recent lipstick releases. I have a lot of novelties and of course I've included Lisa Eldridge because I know you guys love it. Me and you, we have a love affair with those lipsticks and because I know you and I know that Usually you guys love lipsticks. I thought I should include some things that I've tried and I loved so please Keep on watching to see everything that's new on the market that I strongly recommend I'm gonna start with rare beauty lipsticks. These are part of uh, the newest collection. It's called kind words We literally just launched it. I'm so happy because for once in my life I am up to date with something and I was supposed to meet Selena but I chose to go um, visit my aunt because she was turning 50 and I'm not sorry to be completely honest with you I, I did have like I wished I could have done both <laughs> um, but it wasn't possible so let's try the lipsticks out of everything that I'm going to show you they're the only lipsticks I'm going to show you with the matching lip liner not because obviously you have to get the lip liner although you know if you follow me regularly in here you know I love lip liners let's start with the rare beauty in the color talented and the matching lip liner I will apply the lipstick first with no lip liner and then I'll add the lip liner Wow, what is this formula? So thin. You barely fill it on your lips. I'm only going to talk about this formula once because obviously they're all, every color I'm going to show you, they're all the same. Uh, so more I'm going to give you details about the color and um, how I would match it depending on your skin tone. This is definitely a warmer brown. If you are very light, cool or neutral undertone, it could look good, especially if your teeth are very nice and white, but you know, it's it's a little bit of a risk. In general, honestly, I don't think there are rules with lipsticks because it's more about a matter of what you like. As a general rule, I said this before, I wouldn't go for very warm lipsticks on very light, like super fair skin tones with red undertones. That is just not a good match. But the other way around, let's just say you have a warm undertone or even olive. If you apply a cool lipstick, like a cool lipstick color, berry or like a very cool pink, it will look good on you because it's a nice contrast. Now I'm going to apply the lip liner on top, although I have to be honest with you, this formula doesn't really require a lip liner because it's matte, it's incredibly comfortable, thin like I told you. If you are the type of person who is like, oh I cannot really apply my lipstick, my hand is shaking, try lip liner first. It will help tremendously. So this was Rare Beauty in Talented. Next color is Worthy. I love how the tip of the lipstick, I don't know if I mentioned this before, it just makes the application so much easier. Guys, this is the perfect everyday color. It's not warm, it's not cool, it's somewhere in between. This would look good on many skin tones, including super fair. More of a beigey pink, if I could describe it like this. The lipstick does this thing, you see? Are you seeing this? It breaks. So I have natural lips with obviously a lot of wrinkles, which is totally normal for a natural lip. I never have my lips like this unless I smile. But I just wanted to show you that it breaks a little bit. So I still love it. I would still apply it. I would still use it. But I wanted you to know this. So it, it's not a difference with the lip liner because it's exactly the same color. So this was Worthy. This is Humble. Very, very similar with my natural lip color. 
again a very versatile color if you like a pinch more pink i would definitely go towards this color in comparison with the rest of the two that i've just showed you another great everyday lipstick color on me also i think this looks the best so far so this is humble apparently this is selena's color this is the one that she was wearing for the campaign it's called gifted oh she's definitely gifted oh wow i have to apply the lip liner because this being a darker lipstick if i don't use the lip liner i feel like uh it's not it has to be perfect you know what this is a beautiful color not everyone's cup of tea obviously but if you want a bold lipstick also apply this if i were deep, rich skin tone uh, because it really works with the extremes and everything that is in between so this is selena's color in gifted now i'm going to try the new lip power from Giorgio armani i've been i've been seeing these everywhere on my feed and i went and bought uh, four colors i'll start with 503 Oh yeah, the type of lipstick that honestly you could apply you could apply it even without the mirror because it's very forgiving. It doesn't have a lot of pigment, but it's super hydrating. Oh my god, it's so nice, you guys. It's not very like slippery, you know. For example, I could compare this with Rouge Volupté Shine from YSL. That lipstick, because it has a lot of oils. It's super slippery, I would call it. This one is not as much. It has more of a buttery finish. This is the type of lipstick that's also comfortable to wear with your hair down while the wind is having a moment, if you know what I mean. I love the shape of the bullet and I love that, you know, you twist it, the product comes out. Because sometimes this type of lipsticks, they have this system where you have to press for the uh, product to come out and... Uh, absolutely hate those this is Giorgio Armani 503 and it doesn't matter your skin tone um, or your skin undertone this will look good on you next color is 103 just in comparison this 103 that I'm going to apply is definitely uh, warmer 503 that you just saw me with is more pink also what I love about it is that I can keep on going with this application it never builds up color is very sweet and it works if you want to do very simple makeup look but it also works if you want to do let's just say a smoky eye so this was 103 this is number 500 this reminds me of like those frosty lipsticks in the 90s yeah definitely not my color <laughs> i think this would look good if you are either medium or super fair if you're in between it kind of fades away i could make it work i could make it work with lip liner for example i would apply a darker lip liner obviously uh with all the warmer colors that i have on my face it, it looks even worse but i think it, honestly it's a beautiful color that if you have very light skin tone especially with cool undertone i think this would look beautiful so this was 500 Okay, the last one I have is 104. If you want to apply something that is sweet, that is more pink, more of a cooler pink, uh, definitely go with this. Especially if you have a similar skin tone with mine or darker, um, I, I would definitely try this one. This was 104. Moving on with your favorite and my favorite, Lisa Eldridge. She's got new lipstick colors and I'm so excited to show you guys. Lisa was kind enough to send me some of the colors. I've got five new shades and I'm starting with Meet Me in Berlin. Is a beautiful, chocolatey, not crazy pigmented this is the type of texture that you know what it's very similar with this 
super similar but with more pigment it's a type of balmy luxurious luscious it's it's so nice it's super super nice again this type of lipsticks um, are a lot more forgiving for the application and also for in terms of like who can wear these honestly fair skin tones can wear this as well as super dark rich skin tones if you love this color don't hesitate i personally think it's so beautiful and different so this is meet me in berlin next is je ne sais quoi I love this one. This is among my favorite colors. It's so nice for summer. I would say it's more more on the warm tone. It's very forgiving. So many skin tones can wear this. You just have to really love this color. I would wear this anywhere. On a date, cocktail. It's so nice and comfortable. And I feel like it has more pigment than the previous one. Like it's a slightly more opaque or maybe only because it's uh, closer to my lip color so this was je ne sais quoi next one is palazzo this is i said it before the type of red that goes into the category not ready to commit to red all the way because it's it's obviously a red, beautiful, like a tomato red. Nice, cœur de boeuf tomato. Beautiful, warmer, but not like orange, you know? Sometimes with orange lipsticks, they just make your teeth look very gross, like yellow. Um, not with this, look. Very beautiful for a night out, especially. I wouldn't necessarily apply this uh, during the day because the red and also the high shine finish makes it a bit more night out kind of look. This was Palazzo. Next one is Sunday Matinee. This is a completely different finish. It's part of the insanely saturated lipstick so you will have a matte finish with a lot of pigment this is not the type of lipstick that i wear i know that you will think oh my god it looks great on you i get compliments if i wear this lipstick but it's not one of my preference because it has this pinch of mauve in it and i am more into either warmer colors or very like berry or like strawberry. I, I love those much more. But it's not an ugly color at all, actually. It's beautiful, uh, especially if you like this type. It's Sunday Matinee. Next one is Strawberry Shock. And you know, this is my absolute favorite. This is outstanding. It's a color that... <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen before. It's like a warm fuchsia. I don't know how else to describe this. It's so strong, but in the same time, it's elegant, it's fun. It screams summer. It works with a beautiful white crisp shirt. Going in the south of France on a small yacht and having rosé. That's the vibe that it gives me. This is what I wish I were right this moment. These two lipsticks, the last two, uh, Sunday Matinee and a Strawberry Shock, you absolutely do not need lip liner with it. The color stays wherever you applied it. With the others, I recommend you to apply lip liner only because the formula is so hydrating so it's going to run and it might get into the fine lines around your lips if you have them. But this, no lip liner needed. It's absolute perfection. Everyone could apply this and would look fabulous. So this was Strawberry Shock. You guys, I've got two more lipsticks for you. These new Pout Stickles from Fenty. And I only have two colors because I bought pretty much everything except for the Lisa Eldridge lipsticks that were sent to me. Everything was bought, so I tried to uh, really think about the colors that I would actually use and wear. One is a bit more orangey, the other one is uh, more pink 
These are lip stains. So once I'm gonna apply this, I'm afraid that I'm not going to be able to show you the other one because it stains the lips. So let's apply this pink one first. It is crazy nice. I promise you guys it's like you have nothing on the lips. The most lightweight lip tint I've ever used and the way I've seen, you know, everyone uh, applying this, like you apply it, then you take off the excess and you are being left with this beautiful rosy pink. So this is filmed in real time. I have not cut anything in here. So you can actually see in how long your lips will be stained. Are you kidding me? Are you seeing this? It's so nice. I'm so wearing this tonight. Oh my God. I could kiss my husband with this. You know what? I want to try something because this is my favorite combination to make. This is a lip liner from Nabla. Now I want to try something. I'm spreading it. Wait, 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 wait. Lip balm. This is my absolute favorite. I really wanted to do this combo because I've been seeing my friend Claudia, she's also a makeup artist. I've been seeing her um, applying this uh, on, on some models. I couldn't wait to get this uh, lip stain from Fenty to try this uh, as well. I cannot recommend this enough. A lot of times when you use lip stain, it can be patchy. This one has no patches whatsoever. I, I'm obsessed. Now, let's try the final lip product. Today's video, this is... Strawberry Sangria. Okay, let's wait a moment. Even like this, it's gorgeous. This color, honestly, I think that, again, it will look good on anyone, especially if you have warmer skin tone because it's a warmer red. Obviously, the, the one before was more of a pink shade. This is a combination between pink and orange. Wow, insanely saturated. I'm so impressed with these products. They're all different. I cannot recommend you just one product. How could you pick? It's like picking Amina Moadi shoes or Manolo shoes. You cannot. They're all gorgeous. Please let me know in the comments what was your favorite. You can find everything that I've mentioned in the description box along with my beautiful earrings. These are from my collection with Cinco. They are called Tina. My dress, which is fabulous. I'm going to put a picture in here so you can see the whole thing. I recently bought it from my Teresa and I think I did an amazing purchase because it was also on sale. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Follow me on Instagram. Make sure you're subscribed on my YouTube channel. Click on that like button if you enjoyed this video i'll see you in my next one bye i know you're tired of loving of loving